there it is, Father Ken Lau, and welcome to the new episode of Nuggets for the Soul. And today I'm going to talk about the tears of repentance. Uh, in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 23, uh, Jesus was uh, on his way going to be crucified on Golgotha, and he was carrying this cross. And, uh, and he met along uh, the way some women who were really crying because they, 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 they see the suffering of Jesus. And this is from Luke chapter 23, uh, verse 28. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. The, what the Lord is telling them is that don't weep that I'm suffering. Weep because of your sin. It is because, it is because of your sins that I am suffering right now. So we need to ask for that uh, 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 tears of repentance. And in uh, Luke chapter 7, uh, there's a story there about the sinful woman uh, who, who stood behind the, the feet of Jesus weeping and began to bathe his feet with her tears and to dry them with her hair. Then she continued kissing his feet and anointing them with an ointment. Okay, so we see here the great example of this woman weeping for her sins, repenting. To help us really to have this uh, tears of repentance, I've read this book from The Love of the Sacred Heart uh, by St. MacTill. Okay, St. MacTill was a Benedictine nun. Benedictine nun. She received uh, private revelations from, from Jesus. Okay, and this is uh, um, what uh, St. MacTill Asked Jesus, what shall I do to obtain these tears? Our Lord replied, I will teach you. Think first of the love and friendliness with which I went forth to meet my enemies. They sought to kill me with swords and clubs, as though I were a robber and a malefactor. And I went to meet them as a mother goes before her son to save him from the fangs of the wolf. Then... As they struck me without pity, I returned their blows with as many affectionate kisses to those who sh should be saved through the merits of my passion to the last day. Afterwards, while they scourged me so cruelly, I prayed so efficaciously for them to my Heavenly Father that many of them were con converted. When they pressed the crown of thorns on my head, I counted the thorns that pierced me, so that I might place as many precious stones in their crown. When they nailed me to the cross and stretched out my body, so that my bones and sinews could be counted, I employed my divine power to draw to myself the souls of the, those that were predestined to eternal life. This was to accomplish what I had already said. When I shall be lifted up, I shall draw all things to myself. When at last the spear opened my side, I drew from my heart a love, a life-giving drink for all those who had drunk of death in Adam. I caused them to become children of eternal life and salvation in me who am life. So meditate on this, uh, uh, you know, what, what Jesus uh, said to St. MacTill in order to have these tears of repentance, so we really need to ask for this grace, tears of repentance. Because if not, then we will not repent. And if we don't repent from our sin, this is what will happen. In Luke chapter uh, thirteen, verse twenty-eight, it says here, "There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth when you see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and you yourselves thrown out." So. You know, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth if we will not be able to go to heaven. So while we live today, you know, let's ask for the uh, tears of repentance so that we would undergo conversion and be with him forever in heaven. Be a living saint. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, we trust.